what's up guys? I am out at Greenwoods Country Club just outside of Torrington, Connecticut. Today, I'm gonna try to beat that terrible 47 I posted on nine holes uh, a little while ago. Uh, that was not a great round. I think it was one of the first rounds I'd played in a while. So I've played a little bit of golf since then. And today I'm at a beautiful course. It's an old course. I believe it was uh, open in 1903, at least that's what the uh, flags say. And uh, it's, it's tricky. This is a tricky little course. So I'm gonna share that with you and hopefully do better than I did last time. First up is a uh, par four and it's a little dog leg to the left. It's not very long, but if you hit driver here, you could open up a, a whole world of trouble. So it's an iron off the tee. Let's see if I can put one in the fairway. Off to a fantastic start. Very happy with that. Right down the fairway. And uh, you're gonna see here in a second, it is a, it's a tricky second shot. If you take driver on this hole, you might be able to drive it because I think the hole is only about 315 yards. But the danger is, to me, it's not really worth it. So, um, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Off to a good start. Let's see what I have in. So that's a heck of a divot, but uh, I definitely hit that ball a little bit fat. I'm gonna get away with it because it hit just over the ridge where the bunker is. I think it rolled out onto the green, so we'll see. Okay, so you can see that shot worked out pretty well. It landed up here on this hill and just released down there. You can see why I said earlier that you don't really wanna go for the screen because Pretty much everything back here is just gone and uh, everything falls off the back. So it's a, it's a tricky little hole, but I've got a birdie putt, which my putting has been pretty shaky lately. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. That might be, it's probably gonna be the hardest part about my entire round of golf is gonna be the putting, but I'll see if I can, see if I can hit a decent one here. So I set up a great shot to capture that putt and then for some reason didn't hit record, but I made it. <laughs> so I made a birdie and you didn't get to see it. Hmm. it. Feels a little bit like saying you saw Bigfoot. No one's gonna believe you if you don't have evidence, but I did, I made the putt. So uh, one under through one onto hole two. All right, hole number two here, it's a 500 and something yard par five. Now the tricky thing about this is that there's a giant tree right out in basically right where you want to hit your drive if you're gonna take driver here. You gotta to try to go over that tree and cut off as much of the corner as you can because otherwise you're gonna go through the fairway and be in the rough. But I'm gonna to try to go over that tree, see if I can cut off a bit of this corner, leave myself a, you know, a decent six iron or something into the green, let's see. Okay, so I just made this hole um, longer than it needed to be. Uh, that drive went to the left a little bit, went more to the left of the tree instead of over. So I'm gonna be in the rough out there. We'll see if it's blocked off or if I have a shot into the green, but it's gonna be a lot longer than I was hoping for for this second shot. Not a well executed shot there. That is something that, something I'm not used to up here. It's just how thick this rough is. Because that ball, I mean, it just got completely eaten up by this rough. It's okay. Got myself out to where I should have a shot into the green here. Looking at about 200 yards, so that was not much of a punch out. But 200 yards, of this flyer lie sitting up though so we'll see if I can put one on the green all 
Alright, looks like I'm on the green with a, a potentially a, a putt for birdie. So, I will take that. We'll see if I can make one. And I'm actually going to record this one, so, because I probably won't make it. We'll see. Alright, so that's where my ball ended up. And that's what I have left for birdie. All right, so I, I genuinely didn't think I had any chance at making that birdie. I was just trying to get it up there somewhere close so I could have a tap-in par. Um, yeah, that might be one of the longest birdie putts I've ever made. Wow, okay. So two under through two on this quest to break 47. Um, I'd say it's going well. Uh, <laughs> wow, yeah. Significantly better than I expected to start this video. All right, on to the third. All right, so the third hole is a par three. Um, I'm playing the blue tees. Now, I do want to explain. So this course is a little unique because it's nine holes. Well, technically 10 holes, but I'll get to that later. You play it twice. And what you do is you pick a tee that you're going to play each nine and then you switch. So uh, you play the blue tees. It doesn't mean you're always going to be playing the furthest back because the blue and the white kind of alternate. They switch um, on different holes. So you're going to be playing different yardages um, each nine. And so you just pick a tee. So right now I'm playing the blue tees. And from the blue tees, it's about 170 yards or so, but it's very downhill and it always plays significantly shorter than that. I played it a couple times and it plays a lot less than 170. So not exactly sure what I'm going to hit here, but we'll see. All right, so I ended up going with an eight iron there on that shot, and I think it worked out. I am on the green, a little bit past the hole, about center of the green. The flag's up today, so, but yeah, I think that's probably the right club. All right, that first putt was quite tricky, and I'm really not sure how it ended up short of the hole, but I'm happy to two putt there, get a par on to the next. All right, the fourth hole out here is a 370 yard par four, but there's not really a story on this hole. The story on this hole is that it is a dogleg right, and there are some massive trees on the right side that mean you really are not hitting driver here. I, unless you've got a, a 30, 40 yard slice you can consistently play, which I don't anymore. It's an iron out to the fairway, hopefully, and then leave yourself, you know, uh, eight iron, seven iron in, something like that. So that's the play. That's what I'm going to try to do. Okay, so that might be uh, one of the hardest hit four irons I've ever hit. I did not think that that had a chance of running through the fairway, but it did, and it bounced and hit a tree. So we'll see what that means for my second shot.
All right, so that was not ideal. Um, it's up against that tree, did not really have a good swing. So I just took a six nine, tried to punch it out there, but it went right, which you gotta expect from that situation. Shouldn't play it well. Really shouldn't have tried to hit it as far as I did, but I'm just up here. I've got a, I've got a giant boulder in between me and the green though. So this should be interesting. Okay, so I was clearly wrong. I got past the boulder. Just have a little chip shot up here. The pin is on the front, so it'll be interesting to see if I can uh, get it to stop anywhere close. Okay, so I chunk pulled that, but it actually worked out. I'm on the green, I have a putt for par, so if I can get out of here with a, a par or a bogey, I will be quite happy. All right, so this is without question the best I've ever putt in my life, and I mean that genuinely. Uh, I played this course a couple times and I have not put anything like this before. So yeah, this is uh, pretty wild. Okay, so this is the hole I was talking about where that's really two holes in one. So what this hole is, is it's the uh, fifth hole and the 14th hole. Now I'm gonna play it uh, as the 14th hole because that's a par five and you tee off from the same tees but the par four goes off to the left and the par five goes off down this hill swings around it is a tricky tricky tee shot second shot third shot um, but that's what i'm going to play it as today so um yeah we'll see how this one goes All right, so here's where my ball ended up right here in the fairway. That is the par four, and that is the par five, way down that hill. So I've got to just hit an iron down there somewhere, hopefully get in the fairway and have a, a shot into the green. So that's where I ended up with my layup. I have about 80 yards into the pin, but as you can see, I also have trees in the way a little bit. So I'm just gonna try to hit a wedge up there, avoid smashing into all of those trees if possible, and I give myself a putt at birdie. All right, I kind of had to hack at that one. It was sitting down pretty bad in there. So uh, I believe I'm on the green with a putt, a little bit, little bit longer than you know I would like. But uh, honestly, from that situation, I'll take it. All right, another par. So I am, uh, yeah, I think I'm on my way to beating that 47, hopefully. Um, this course is, uh, it's very, very tricky, but these greens are so pure. Um, they're not super fast, but uh, you can, you feel like when you hit the putt, it's gonna roll true. So once you get the speed down, um, they're, you know, you, you can putt them and you can feel pretty confident about it. So. I, I really like this course. <laughs> I mean, clearly I'm playing maybe the best I've ever played, but uh, it's also just, it's a really pretty course. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a fun layout too. Up next is a par four 
It's about 360 yards, but once again, driver is not really the play here uh, because there's trees that are growing in on the right side and you have to you have to take off a lot of the corner. Now today the blue tees are a little more over to the left, so I think I'm just gonna take an iron and uh, hit one out in the fairway, hopefully give myself a nice number in. That was a, a little bit toey and a little bit left of where I was aiming. Not much, just maybe 10, 15 yards, but probably in the left rough, which it's okay. Um, I'll, I'll still have a, a pretty good look at the green. I've got about a hundred and little under 150 yards downhill. I'm gonna be hitting pitching wedge out of this rough because I really, really, really don't want to go long. So see how that goes. So that's about pin high, maybe maybe 15 feet left of the pin. So got another birdie putt. All right, another par. I will take that every single day, including Sundays. I don't know if you think that's the entire phrase. I think it's take that every day of the week and Sundays. Anyway, I'll take it. Another par, we are on to the seventh, which is a par four. And this one's a bit tricky. It's not a long hole, but there's trees left. If you take driver and you go right at all, you're basically gone. So it's really, it's another iron off the tee, play position give yourself a wedge in. So that is what I'm gonna try to do. Caught that tee shot a little bit thin, but that's why you take an iron here. It should still be out here in the fairway. It should have uh, just a, a short wedge in. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna work out just fine and a uh, much better position than I've been previously on this hole where I hit driver and ended up in the woods over there and when I wasn't in the woods I was just short of the woods which meant I had a, a really really difficult shot in so much shorter we'll see if I can capitalize All right, I caught that one just uh, a little bit fat, and I might have been trying to muscle up an iron a little more than I should have, but it's gonna be just off the green short. Looks like it's in the rough, so this will be tricky. Came up short, and now I'm in that. Fun times. Okay, um, this is when I have to give a shout out to Mr. Jeff Gratz because when I was up in Wisconsin uh, last month, he gave me uh, an old putter that he wasn't using. Um, it's longer than the one I had been using that I just could not make a putt with. And it immediately felt significantly better than the putter I was using. So uh, he said, just take it. I put it in the bag and I've been playing with it and I've been getting more and more comfortable with it. And now it feels Feels incredibly comfortable today, and I mean, this is the best I've ever putt in my life. I feel very confident saying that. So, got the par, two more holes. All right, the eighth hole is just a stunning par three. You can see way out there, the beautiful green over the water. It's not a, an incredibly long hole, about 140 yards from the blue tees but it is a very intimidating looking tee shot um, and uh, a lot of fun. So I'm gonna try to put one on the green here. All 
All right, so not a bad shot there. Uh, I felt like I was kind of between clubs, so I hit a nine, but I did not fully commit to it. So it's just on the front edge, which is gonna work out okay because the pin is up front. So I uh, will have a putt for birdie, and uh, hopefully worst case, come out of here with a putt. Another par save. All right, we are on to the last hole. And yeah, I think, I think we're gonna break 47. Um, I think this is also going to be the best nine hole score I've ever shot in my life. So um, now just for reference, I have played out here before a couple times and um, I shot over nine holes. I shot somewhere in the 40 to 42 range, um, depending on the round. So. Yeah, this is, this is good. And now we are on to the ninth hole. It is not a super long hole. It's 286 yards, give or take, maybe a little less from the blue tees that I'm playing right now. And, um, but it's, it's a big risk reward. Um, you can go for the green, there's bunkers front, there's bunkers uh, left of it. And um, you go left, too far left, and you go into a parking lot. So. Uh, I'm probably going to do what I should have done previously and hit another iron out there into the fairway, try to give myself a, a good number coming in, and yeah, just finish off this round. Um, yeah, I'm still kind of a little bit in disbelief, but here we are. A little bit of last hole drama. I uh, pushed that one out to the right. That is the worst iron shot I've had off the tee so far today. So we'll see where it is. We'll see if I can get up by the green and still manage a, a par. Yeah, we'll just see where it is. All right, so here we have it. This is where my ball ended up. I'm in the trees over here, just right of the 18th. So not entirely sure what I'm gonna do from here. It's less than 100 yards in. Um, let's see exactly what we're looking at. It's about 81 yards in, but I definitely can't go up with the ball. So I've got to figure out, there's a little gap between some bunkers at the front of the green. So maybe able to run it up that way. Not entirely sure. Um, just gonna try to get something on the green is the goal here. So um, yeah, see what happens. I don't know if you could see that, um, but that that bounce that went straight towards one of the bunkers bounced, bounced over, hit the top of the bunker, which slowed it down and then rolled out to the left side of the green. I'm gonna have a very, very, very long, tricky uphill putt, but uh, yeah, if I can get if I can get down in two, I will be ecstatic with this. So I'm totally fine with that three put on that green. That pin placement is wicked. And uh, you saw from the putt that's just riding a ridge and crazy and almost made the par putt. So um, yeah, the quest to break 47, 
I had a feeling that wasn't going to be that difficult to do because I was playing terribly that day and I've been playing significantly better since then, but um, I don't think I've ever had a nine hole stretch where I was under par. And today it was a 35 on a par 36 nine hole stretch. So, wow. Yeah, that's different. Um, wow. Yeah, I don't really know what to say, except I'm just really, really ecstatic that I just shot under par for the first time ever. Um, shout out to Greenwoods for letting me come out and film today. This was gorgeous course. And I'm gonna be putting together a video that's just sort of showing off the course as well. Um, but, wow. I, I don't know where we go from here. Probably just see if we can find another golf course and repeat this. It's gonna be hard because that putting was just on today, but it's encouraging. I've been putting a lot of work into the golf game and to see it paying off and, you know, be able to shoot something like this was, was big, so. That's it. Uh, if you like the golf content, like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. Um, thank you for checking this out today, and I will see you on the next one.